Cassandra, please. If these fools break the truce... Thief! You're on to talk, you double-dealing dog! If you don't stop, I'll kill you both to preserve the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable cur stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Irovatos, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family! Only a lowly Ionian would steal! I said, Irovatos! Uh, yes. I it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. If there's been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere, while Lelech is from Ionian stock, a grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened, and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double-dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then, they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed. Please, if the mystery of who robbed Lelech and Makar isn't solved, I fear there would be bloodshed. I don't need to get involved in other people's family feuds. Did you see anything? No, no, not nothing. Far less than anything. So you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, uh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. It's all right if you ran. Fear can change a man. I wasn't afraid. I was asleep. Oh, I, I mean... I won't tell. But did you see anything? No. Except... Yes? Some torches. Heading east. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. <clears throat> These crypts have been opened. There's no sign of forced entry. <laughs> A note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. There are talks of ruins outside the city. And from what the guard said, the torches were heading in that direction.
So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? This robbery has brought you together. Lelech, Makar, you worked together to find out what happened to your drachmi. Actually, the guard told us. And his family stole my money. As yours did mine. But think how much you could achieve working together. You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? We have other children. Now, are you a mysterious or not? I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without the both of you. I didn't want it to come to this. But now, we can forge a new future for our two families. One built on love. I wish you luck with that. now. Who will win the javelin? It could be you. Come on, place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of drachmi for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You'd attract more customers if you sounded more enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Peter Koz. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined. What if I recited a poem? One of Pindaros's, you know, to inspire him to greatness. Look, um, Pitekos is good, but uh, he's not really that kind of athlete. All right. Let's hear your plan, then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. For Athens. For Drachmi. I'll see what's wrong with Pitekos. Thank you. I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Pithecos, Aleti sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My lucky javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. When you say lucky, you mean special. As in, made to give you an advantage. Look, 
My javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Where would I find such a javelin? Well, you could buy one, I suppose. Do any of your fellow Olympians have special javelins? Perhaps. Don't worry, I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. You sell javelins? Of course! Lucky you, I still have some left. With the games on, they sell out fast. But are they any good? The best! Fly fast and true, rest assured. But they'll cost you. I'll take one. Thank you! And may it fly far! I got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. Here. Take this. Hey, this javelin's amazing. Light, easy to handle, and most importantly, looks just like the real thing. I'm glad I could help. Go with Nike, my friend. I should find a lettuce. <laughs> Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy, then? You can never have enough drachmi. This will be an easy bounty. Oh, that's a lot of drachmi. The event's tomorrow. Make sure you're on time. Where were you? You missed everything! Look at this. What a magnificent throw! I'm glad I could help. Now, Aletis, for my winnings? Of course! It was a good day. We all profit. May your good fortune continue. I'm here for the Pankration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water. I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pankration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Ha! 
welcome all. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium. And now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart. The Pankration! I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action. For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! That's not fair! It hurts! Where's your tough talk gone Why? now? That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what she can do against Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars! Come on! That's the spirit! Ilios y mi, Ilis y Timiote de Anatimifilion, Alithos yes! The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Cassandra against our reigning champion, Thoriavs! Uh. Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion! Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends Dimophanes and Callias, respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? Uh, it's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonidaeon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be two, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. Let's go, Phobos. Ah! 
The truce is fragile enough. This was definitely poison. And Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. Rotten. This proves it. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. Hmm. Supply list for the celebration. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Priam a visit. Now, we're going to have a conversation. Please, please, I, I was just doing what I was told. I'm not after you. I'm after whoever wanted this done. I don't know, I never saw him. I just thought he wanted to fix a race. But then I saw what started happening, and I knew they'd been poisoned. My friend, Alcibiades, I need to save him. You'll likely find the antidote up at Fort Coroibos. Whoever did this will pay. Go, and don't let me see your face again. Yes, thank you. Shit! Here, I have the antidote. Mm. Oh, more wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. Your next opponent is Dorios, claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I fought all sorts of people, and they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there. Come to wish me luck? Of course, and if you win, you should come dine with me sometime. Maybe I'll hunt you down after the event, to take you up on your offer. Of course, after the event.
Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how she does against our reigning champion, Zoryav. The gods have looked kindly on these, our champions! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory! for a ride. Come back. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. 
You said the man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. He was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atere keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too. He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I returned to Mount Tayedos. Returned? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is... Just a mountain, like any other. What makes Taigetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general? I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Daigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So. I've been to the five places Themistocles told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you're bound by blood to avenge him. Artaxerxes, false king! This Mystheos led me right to you! It's time to finish what I started. Cassandra, please! Stand behind me. Foro! 
being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another, then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trade I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life, and I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did? Though much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change. Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. Who <laughs> 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 